The tutorial you're about to see is a part of a 5 star rated Udemy course, Arduino Zero to Hero. It also comes with its own specialized Arduino kit by DF Robot. Check it out, both links in the description. Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to use a push button to turn on and off this buzzer. Now, this buzzer works on the same principle as a speaker. In other words, it's not always on. If you connect it to plus and minus, you'll hear nothing. You have to oscillate the input, so to speak. You have to turn the plus pin on and off, 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 on and off and then the buzzer is gonna make sounds. And you have to do this at a reasonably high speed. So let's hook in the circuit. We'll start with the button, then add the buzzer, and then we're gonna play with some code. So button goes in across the channel right here. We can connect that to the positive, and we can connect that to minus. We can then take a cable from the button into pin, I don't know, zero, one, two, three. Dun, 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 dun. Next up, the loudspeaker. Now, um, we just gotta sort of watch out where we put it. Six and seven, row six and seven. Uh, the minus is gonna go to six. Dun, 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 dun. I think uh, uh, I could be one row off, but I think this is the minus. I'll put it there. Let me actually zoom in on this whole thing, which I forgot. So the wires that are out here, I'll just try to sort of fold and, and, and put into these pins so you guys can see a bit better. And then we also need to get the plus into pin, I guess we can use like eight. Nice and convenient, easy to locate. So let me place that guy down as well. Yeah, fairly neat. Now we just gotta hope it works. Um, let's pull up Arduino. So we have button in pin three, code pre-written button set to input and wow we need to merge this sorry guys as I said button into pin 3 button here set as input um, code already pre-written basically that says oh if digital read button is high we do whatever is there I think the code needs another bracket closed bracket that is to close the loop we can click tick to make sure everything works. So we should be good to go to add a little buzzer. Int buzzer, we'll put it into pin eight. We're gonna go pin mode buzzer. It's going to be an output. And here we can oscillate the pins. So digital right buzzer high delay 100 we're gonna with with high and low and a delay of 100 that means that it takes 200 per wave so we're gonna have five beeps per second so buzzer is gonna be low here and we're gonna delay 100 and now's the moment of truth compiles certainly does upload oh and nothing happens so my guess is that these are because i can't see where the buzzer pins are i think these are both one up too high so Lovely, that works. And I think you can barely hear that, but that's five per second. Let's do 
500 per second. Pretty good. So let's try to do 5,000. Now this is, I'm just gonna use something called delay microseconds. And microseconds is sort of a very buggy function that there's many workarounds um, because in order to do it, you virtually have to interrupt other things that uh, Arduino is doing. I mean, the Arduino operates on a clock speed of 16, 16, 16 megahertz, so yeah, 16 million times a second. So if you're dealing in terms of millionths of a second, you are literally sort of messing with internal workings. And interestingly, it works reasonably well when you do something like a hundred, but if you were to do tens of thousands of microseconds, you'd run into some sort of patchy territory. But let's, let's, let's try this out. This should be much louder. So on the fun scale, which means on the scale of sort of human, on the scale of what human ears are trained to hear, this is sort of the peak frequency. Um, that's, this is the frequency at which babies cry and scream. It's kind of annoying too. So there is, of course, as I said, if, if we don't want to mess too much with microseconds, we can create we can write a function that does something like this. Arduino has created tones. So we can create tone. I think you go pin, pin name, buzzer, and then you do frequency, 5,000. So unfortunately, if I run this, once I press the button, it's not going quiet at all until I create this thing called no tone. There is that same frequency. Interesting, and let's create a no tone. I think it's like that, buzzer. Lovely. I don't quite understand that. I think after no tone, when you're calling tone thousands of times, I don't know, I, let's put a small delay, like delay 10 here, and see if that makes a difference. Certainly does, and uh, control Z. Maybe a bigger delay would make it a clearer sound. So clearly this delay has an impact. I'm, I'm gonna run with 100 because you really don't notice. Even two tenths of a second you wouldn't notice after you lift the button it would stop working. So, I find that, I find that interesting that the tone and the no tone, once you introduce the no tone, you're calling the tone like, you know, millions of times, sort of makes the, um, makes the tone interrupted in some way. But there you go, this works reasonably well. And we can do something really cool like int, frequency and we can start off at 10 and watch this we're gonna actually run it at frequency and then instead of having the note tone we're gonna have no note tone we're gonna run it by default and when, when the button is pressed, we're gonna go frequency equals to frequency 
plus one. And how much can we add per second? We can add maybe a hundred per second. We can put a delay of ten. So this should, in theory, keep the tone always on. But the longer we hold the button, the higher the frequency gets. And since there's no upper limit to frequency, we don't have to, you know, we can go from barely audible to super audible to barely audible again. Basically from out of the range low to out of the range high. So let's, let's try this program. That's pretty mad. Okay. Um, we need to plug something out. Ah. Oh. Okay. Um, I think we can try. We can try this, and we can maybe have a serial dot begin, and we can listen to various different frequencies. Personally, I think the frequency of 10, um, for some reason, isn't accurately represented, but the rest pretty much seems to be. So I can actually, when I'm pushing the button, so we're going to increase the frequency by 10. I'm going to delay this by 100. And then I'm going to serial.print ln. We're going to print the frequency. And Dun, 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 dun. That everything, everything is there. Okay. So this time around, um, when we plug back in, we should be able to see a live display of frequencies. Okay. Get ready. We're gonna have, and that's a that tone there. I'm not sure if 10 hertz sounds like that. Maybe it does. But let's let's have some fun with this. 60. Yeah, that's more like 60. So initially, 80, 100, 200, 300, 430, 610. So 5,000 should be like the peak. It's gonna take us a while to get to 5,000. Oh yeah. Okay, this is like hurting my head a little bit. Um, whew. Okay, in the next tutorial, I'm just gonna have some fun and do that with a proper loudspeaker. So we're gonna run the same code 
on this um, gravity loudspeaker by DF Robot, and we are gonna see if there's much of a difference between this little buzzer and a proper loudspeaker. But that, in principle, is a frequency generator. And based on the code there, we can set up four buttons in the future and have ourselves a piano with, say, four keys that play four different frequencies. Excellent. See you in the next tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button. Totally good karma. And do subscribe. A lot more like this coming in 2018. Again, check out the links in the description and the playlist right here on your screen right now.